Hey, hey, this is Eric with programwithEric.com, and today we're going to about we're going to talk about Aurelia custom elements. So, if you remember from last time, in our application here, we created a route. We had a router at the top. We have a couple different routes that we created. But if we look at our code, you can kind of get an idea here. We have an app.html and an app.js file. This app.html file is pretty big, and this navigation bar, we can certainly extract it out of here and put it in its own custom element. We just have to make we have to make sure that we pass in this router somehow. So let's go ahead and do that. So before we do, let's create a new file. We'll call it nav-bar.html. Oh, excuse me, I already got it created right here. And so we'll go back to app.html file. And I'll go ahead and I'll grab everything here. Save it. I'll go back to the nav bar, HTML, and we'll paste it. Um, so one thing we gotta remember, we have to have templates at the top here. So let's make this a template. And to make this work so we don't really need a nav bar.js file, we can actually make this bindable to the router. And we'll go slash template at the bottom, close it, and we'll save that. Now let's go back to our app.html file, and what we can do here is we can add another require, and we can put from equals dot slash navbar require. So th what this does is it allows us to use our custom element we just created, our nav bar. And now we just need to add in the brackets here. Nav bar router dot bind equals router slash nav bar. And what this will do is it'll use our navbar custom element and it'll bind the router to router and that'll be passed into it. And that should be it. So let's take a look to see if our example still works. Go back here. And just to make it more clear, and here's the HTTP server. Go back down. Let's refresh. It's reading, reading all the plugins. Oops. Uh, let me fix that one second. I think I know what's wrong here. We forgot one thing. So if we go back here, we'll stop the server. We'll go back to source. And we'll look at our app.js file. Excuse me, our app.html file. And you can see here we can have require from dash navbar. Well, this assumes that's the nav bar with a JS file. Um, so our view and, and view model. So if we just type navbar.html here, then save it. We'll quit again. And we'll set up clear. And we'll set up our HTTP server again. And now we'll just refresh. Yep, oh, there it goes. So now you can see it's using our custom element to create the navbar.html, and everything works as is. So that's just a quick, simple example of how to use our, our uh, custom elements. Uh, once again, just take a look. And I'll have this all this code up on GitHub um, soon. But the navbar.html is just our custom element. We, Since it's really simple, we don't even need a, a navbar.js file. So we just have it binded to the router here, and that gives us access to the router with inside this this HTML code here with all this bootstrap code in. And then inside our app.html file, we had to do used to require and we had a required dot html so that way it knows to just do the HTML, not the JS file. And then we created the custom element by putting nav dash bar router bird router dot bind to router here. So that's it. 
Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and please check out my Ember.js cookbook if you are interested. It's in the description below. Thanks.